What's good, my people? We are back again for another one. I just see the one and only Miss Telix Reaction Channel, guys. Hand clap to all the people out and large who have made it to this year reaction, guys. Big up yourself out and large. Give yourself a round of applause for making it to this year the one and only Mr. Lex Reaction Channel, guys. If you're new to this year channel, definitely give this video a thumbs up, of course. And of course, subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you can get all the videos as they come through. Of course, this is why I tend to react to a number of videos taking place in Dominica, the Caribbean, and the rest of the world by extension. And of course, this one pretty much deals with St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Apparently, there's something going on, and I must address it. By the way, guys, I will be doing a vlog as well. Um, so definitely keep it tuned after this year one so you can definitely um, tune in on this one But this one there's a particular situation taking place in St. Vincent and the Grenadines as a result of the whole You know displacement of people living in um, 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 Certain areas that they, 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 they set aside for them and The individuals apparently are saying that something is going on where well, let's let's just take a listen And we'll see what is being said right there. This person is in St. Vincent in one of the shelters right there Volume on them, please. So, good night. I am here live because of something that happened today. Mr. Winfield was over our shelter, the Anglican School in Calico. He resigned today because the hmm. principal wants to take over. Tonight, she joked, we're whole set of things out in the kitchen. To no, I know so many things that, that I actually saw this video be, a bit before and I didn't understand what the girl was saying. So I'm going to pretty much break it down for you guys right there. So apparently the individual that she spoke about, the man she spoke about, was the one who was caretaking. And pretty much everybody liked him. That was what I was, I was told. Everybody liked him. He was fair and everything in this, thing, in, in this regard. But then the principal apparently of this school that they have the settlement in or the settling in, apparently she is not the best one. And I was told that she put pressure on the individual... The man who was pretty much doing well, you know, providing the resources for the individuals what really need. And she, apparently, the principal, is taking the stuff. She's apparently taking the stuff. So the, the company, you know, the original shelter manager resigned. So the guy was the original shelter manager who resigned because the principal of the school, where the shelter is located, a government school, was trying to get rid of the man so that she can steal the supplies. They don't give supply to principal, you know. But principal want to steal supplies for themselves. Anyways, let's continue right there. Tonight alone, she don't wear a whole set of things. So she take away a set of things. That's what she was saying right there. Going to Shikar, when she done thing with Mr. Winfield, she pack up Shikar and she gone home with she, this stuff for them. She go with the supplies. That's an individual in the, in the thing. That's what she was saying right there. Tell me which part this is right. She want to be shelter manager because she want to do about this stuff for them. We went by the, the office to ask for some water. They tell us that we must go by the pipe and drink water from the pipe because they say that the water by the pipe is good to drink. <laughs> tell me why this, if this is right. Well, I... I <clears throat> if they're providing water... By the way, I noticed Emo have been sending a lot of water. I'll actually talk about that in the, in the, in the vlog. Um, kudos to her for doing that. But there's something I noticed right there. So they've been sending water for them and they're telling them to drink water in the pipe but isn't the pipe water contaminated though no. i mean i understand it is further up and you guys are probably display um displaced further down south or something like that but i mean are the rivers connected or why are they telling people to drink water after a volcan and ash is falling <laughs> ash is right baby you know you don't think you'd rather have ash in the river so why are you telling people to drink the water in the first place though from the pipe <laughs> anyways we come from over the river but we are not backward Hmm. And it is wrong for people who, who think that we come from nowhere, want to be over us, but at the same time they want to pull their packet. We think that not yours, you're not supposed to get, it's not you they provide water for. I don't understand people in this day and age, you know. If what this lady is saying is actually what is taking place, she forced the individual to resign because she is the principal of the school, she wants to be in charge. Huh? And you trying to take the resources that was meant for the people in the settlement, not you. Why you don't go and drink the tap water? Why are you telling people to go and drink tap water? Is the water not for you? It's for the people who are displaced. The people who don't have homes who are affected by this thing. They send water for them and you telling them to go and drink the pipe water. While you taking the water to bring at your home. I mean, come on. Every morning we have to wait until after 9 minutes to 10 to get our breakfast. 
Why we can't go inside the kitchen and make our own breakfast? Why we don't have the opportunity to do our own thing? Well, that part I can't agree with you on that one because sometimes people tend to, when they see things, they just go and just take in more than they, that they, than they need. You know, they want to be greedy and, you know, those kind of things there. So, going in the kitchen and making your own breakfast, I, I, I think that would be a bit of a different thing. I think people need to provide adequate amount of breakfast. Although, I showcased in some video pre before, I don't know if the whole thing that was there... I saw two planting and a bread. I mean, two pieces of planting and a bread. I can't believe that is what they give people in the shelter to eat. I mean, I know sometimes things can be hard, but people sending stuff from all across the world to St. Vincent. I even saw something on BBC, where BBC are, were pleading in the parliament to send stuff to, to St. Vincent. And they said they have been organizing and will be sending more stuff to thing. So I don't understand why 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 they're giving people that little amount of stuff. If, if people are all across the world sending stuff to, to thing. I remember when they were giving rations in Dominica. Ration cardon! <laughs> Man was even taking rations to sell in their shop. <laughs> because they were sending things from all over the place. So I don't think this should be any different right there. But I mean, you know, they should give people adequate, but let the people them who are organizing these things to do these things for you. But when you're stealing stuff from those people, I think that is another story. In the night, they're locking up the kitchen and working home with the key. And there are children on the camp. The ch I have no idea what that is. Why children on the tam? I don't know what that is. Children are supposed to wake up in the middle of the night. They want oh, the tam, the, the sleeping thing. Okay. <laughs> and something to eat with. Tam, I think, is for your head. Eh? You put a tam on your head. That's what I thought it is. Anyways. They have to stay, the children have to stay so until tomorrow morning after 10 to get something to eat. <laughs> They're not giving you... People don't eat salt no things. Last time they give us some um, chicken salad with mayonnaise. I don't eat mayonnaise. They don't ask people what they don't eat and what they does eat. Well, I think I think they need to do this. I mean, that is that is chicken salad is a nice meal, no doubt about it. But I mean, some people can be allergic to certain things. I think they need to at least go out there and do this. Not give everybody, hey, everybody get chicken salad and that's it. And then that's it. I mean, some people are allergic to certain things. You could possibly kill people as a result of certain things that they cannot eat. So I think it's a duty of the, the shelter managers for them to really take stock, okay, put out there what are you allergic to and be more individualistic about the meals that they prepare. This is probably why she's talking about why can't people go and prepare their own meals. But then again, that self is a chaos thing to happen right there. So They're just giving you anything they want. And this is right, wrong. This is dumb right wrong. They're not supposed to be doing that to anybody. And Mr. Camilo, you need to do something about that. We won back Winfield because we came here the first night, Thursday night, and we didn't have no problem. Friday, we didn't have no problem with Mr. Winfield. But from the other days when this lady, the deputy principal or the principal, whoever she calls herself, take over, it was like a rampage. <laughs> you see, that's why sometimes I don't understand why, why, why can't we have the leaders or the people in charge who, can, who actually care about the people. That's something I really notice. When it comes down to not just in situations like this, guys, you might be hearing some noise outside there. I don't, I don't understand how, why, why, why can't they put the people who actually care about the people there instead of other people who think that they have the authority. They're just putting them there because they, they are principal to the schools or something like that. I mean, the people were happy with the previous individual that was there. He was actually doing things that were actually helping the people and I think that is what we need to really look into. But then, yeah, in situations like this, of somebody else coming and take over and they worse than this why can't we have the rights of the people in, in, in positions to do things for the people man? Why? So in feel. But from the other days when this lady, the deputy principal or the principal, whoever she calls herself, take over. It was like a rampage. <laughs> she ain't keeping her, thinking about anybody as more than herself. But herself. And I don't care. And I don't know me don't care. And it's wrong. The cooking thing that people don't even eat. Hmm. They're giving the children a house that thing, the tea don't sweet. <laughs> you have to go and sweeten about the tea. <laughs> You're drinking beet up tea, boy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> They're giving people thing what they feel like. And our shelter have enough thing to feed everybody on campus. But, and that is what I'm trying to understand, you know. There's one thing where you're saying, okay, there's certain things that they can actually give people. Versus that they were not having problems before with the guy. So why can't they put back the guy there in the first place? Why are they? Why, boy? Because she's the principal. Boy, I tell you, boy. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Kind of brings me back to Ross University when some managers were, were really, really good and other managers were just 
how did you reach that position though? Like, you know, you're asking yourself, how did you reach that position? Because you need to have a balance. Not everybody can actually lead or do these kind of things. And I think these people should not be there at all in the first place. I mean, people are complaining about the very situation. People not people always complain. But when you have individuals who are speaking about the very problem, saying that things were better with Mr. Winston and worse, a, a catastrophe with the person that they I mean, you need to change the person. Especially when the person is allegedly taking stuff that is supposed to be used in the shelter and bring it at her home. She tell him and drink water from the pipe. <laughs> and she bring them, th them settlement <laughs> thing at her home. That is crazy. Nobody no checking up the lady? Nobody? Alright then. Today alone she bring her 24 water telling people if they want water to come take. Our shelter have 120 something people. How we could <laughs> share 12, 24 waters with, with 100 and something people? Tell me how that going to work. And I know that is not true. Because the amount of water I see is saying it can never have 24 water in... in, 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 in what? <laughs> 24 water and 100 and something people in, in, in the thing? The amount of water people sending all over the place, come on, man. That lady, we keep us. I'm not saying that everything is is thing, because there's two sides to a story. But if you have a hundred people and you're telling people 24 bottles of water inside there, and you're telling the rest to drink the water, and yourself taking things to bring at your home, nah, man, stop your dirty ways. And I am speaking out because I don't care. We need back Winfield because when Winfield was here, everything was working good. Winfield, you need to go back, man. You need to check the people. Winfield we actually care about the people, it, it seems. But this lady probably wanted him out for her to get this stuff for her to bring at her home. And this is not like an isolated incident, you know. These kind of situations have been happening. We've heard about these kind of things in Dominica. There was even a, a report going out where they stated that a number of things that were sent from Hurricane Mar uh, for Hurricane Maria stayed on the port. They should have been going out all over the place. People complaining here and there and whatnot. I mean, there was a lot of Russians in the place and whatnot. But there are still people... Who needed it, needed rations and were complaining about they're not getting rations. I mean, <clears throat> until she take over, you are the principal, you're not the owner for the shell, you're not in charge. And I agree, need to take their, their position. Somebody needs to step in and, and tell the lady to stop her dirty ways. Come out there, lady. It has school going on there, shelter there, there. What you doing? Use the principal of the shelter. It had nothing like that. Come out there, lady. Power does go to some of our, our head. Oh, yeah, it's true. And it's wrong. I'm speaking out because it's it ridiculous. Tonight uh, you ask what and they come in and tell you that oh you must go buy the pipe. <laughs> water authority don't give us the authority that we could drink the water as yet. Why we must go to the pipe? <laughs> so the people in charge of the water saying do not drink the water. But the shelter the shelter principal people them telling you to go and drink the water in the pipe. But but you boy. Only only, only only me that place there we boy. And it still comes back to the same kind of vibes why people why slavery happened so long. Because it's like our own people our own people fighting against our own selves. They are the ones keeping us down. I thought say these things. Why slavery happen all over? Those in the, the house slaves feel like they were better than those in the field slaves. Both of them forget that they are slaves. So one trying to feel like they're better than the other and, 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 and keeping the other down. But in the same situation, why are you keeping one set people? <laughs> I father. I am a carib and I don't afraid to talk. You carry? I love my life and I am from Sandy Bay and I will be out here until I dead. That one is a black carib. That one is a that is a mixture of caribs, man. I, I don't see no you look like me. Well then again I have car calinago inside of me. So I have carib inside of me too. So. But no nigga people not gonna push nothing down on my throat and think it's gonna be just right like that. We were back Winfield. Tell the principal to take her position as well. She's the principal of the school and not the shelter manager. Because she's a shelter manager to take out what she wants <laughs> and put she in she vehicle tonight here and carry home beef and all kind of thing for she house and water and everything for the house. And we can't oh. get no water. Boy, that lady no easy. <laughs> if that is the case, that lady no easy, no boy. No oh, boy. Somebody needs to intervene in this thing. Send Vincent Massive while you're watching. Call the authorities to come and check that place, man. Call the authorities that can, that and check to see what's going on. Oh, they bring it for shelter and you take it and bring it to your home. It's not for your home, it's for shelter, woman. Stop your naughty ways. And the only reason why they got water by the shelter is because of us. Of course, that's what I'm saying. We were back Queenfield. The teacher them come all over and the other day, do you know what they did? They lock up the kitchen so tight that they had to send back to the morning to knock out the door hmm. with a hammer. 
the nail the kitchen shut, man. What riot they plan to have boy? I'm speaking out because it's dumb right ridiculous. <laughs> For people from down the road and all the shelters are supposed to get people from Sandy Bay or uh, from over to be in the kitchen. Cooking for people from in the area and not the other way around. She's supposed to just step aside and be a principal. I agree. Be a principal and not the, the shelter manager. Not tonight. Eh? Since I did here from last week, this is a whole week and three matches already moved from the shelter. <laughs> so the they're bringing mattress at the home too, boy. <laughs> boy, you know you see, huh? Only bringing mattress at all you from shelter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice. With water, and we can get the water to drink. <laughs> man, bring it, to... man, bring it beef home, man, bring it water home, man, take it mattress home, boy. <laughs> it's good time, my boy. They're sending for you, know, boy. Come on the shelter to give us things, and they're telling people if they didn't go through the office, they can't come and they can't. All those things are wrong. <laughs> and I'm speaking out to me, I need to do something better than that. And I only just start going things hurt me, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> We come from over the river, but we are not backward. And I think over the river, let me show you guys where over the river is. This area is over the river, guys. That's what um, I was told. This area and the volcano is like right over there. So they were this place to go further down. We were back when field. We want him back. And tell that principal to take her place where she belongs. She want to pack up her house and pack up her thing when she get in there and carry her home. <laughs> oh, I tell How you. are you going to do that? If it's not many people from OTR, I'm not going to get nothing. So don't take what don't dissolve. You all don't dissolve. And it's not don't for them. things that don't belong to <laughs> I will never better. I will never better in life. Anybody who wants to scramble things that don't belong to them, they will never better in life. Every time all of you always a scrape, I will scrape till all are dead. Yep. All right, take all right, be responsible, be, uh, blow. Nobody not tell her to donate all the time. To say all the want to be volunteer. If you can volunteer from your heart and do something from your heart, don't do it at all. Yep. God don't like ugly. Mm -hmm. God don't like ugly. If you can volunteer from all the heart to do this thing, don't do it at all. Don't do it because you have, have too much more in your house. Are you trying to greet? Are you trying to gain prestige? Hey, we doing this? Yeah, hey, look me. Uh, if you volunteer, you get six beef. Ah, uh, you don't go have to buy water. It's wrong. God, go strike out. I never see it now, but I will get it in all them evening cup. You go there and you go there. Talawa and too much. <laughs> you I've heard that word already. Talawa. That sound like he's a married God wood man. Anyways. <laughs> We can't get no water. You can't tell us must go drink water from the pipe. <laughs> I am very angry tonight. I, I feel your pain. Go ask the water. They don't pack up all the water. Lock up the kitchen. Nobody can get nothing. Feel well, I would understand why they would lock up the kitchen and put the waters inside there. I mean, but I mean, people need to get adequate amount of water. I mean, or people will, will die of hydration, man. 24 water for 100 and something people. So man have to be passing bottle like his, um, 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 what is Losty, that is his name? Losty and, and wine. Lots of a man take it like that. Take a sip and pass it. So all 400 or it, <laughs> So I'm um, all 100 and something people will get a sip of water to say. Huh? That, that is this, that is this state we live in with the amount of water they send into St. Vincent right now. I hope that the water come here, nearly a hundred and something case of water come here. Hmm. And they're telling you that oh, um, you only could get one and you could only get two. When them they draw them out and carry them home at the house. And that, that is wrong. That is wrong. If they, they say, okay, each person getting two bottles until more come in and whatnot, I understand that. But you're sending 24 bottles of water for a hundred and something. People, man, come on, man. you wicked. And then you carry a whole case in your home. In your thing for you to bring for you and your and, and probably one two children if is if you are children <laughs> can't get up a drink. So if we and only in the better part of Saint Vincent, we ain't beg people on the street for water. We ain't getting no water. If we don't have money to buy, we ain't getting no water. And I am talking for Nemo to hear me. I want Nemo to hear me. Well, I'll take it to Nemo for you, my dear. All I get out of your party straight. All I get out of stuff of them straight. Put people who are responsible and stop looking for people who are teeth out. <laughs> that is a good thing. 
That's a good thing right there. And that whole situation, guys, all you get the whole point right there. But that kind of situation kind of reminds me of government leaders, man. When certain people send stuff in, that's why we also couldn't even trust the Dominican government because we were not sure what exactly was doing. That's why individuals literally had to come down. There are at least 20 people I knew that if they could trust the government, they would have sent this stuff to the government. But instead, they came down instead. They came down for them to um, distribute stuff. Some of them even brought stuff for me and we were all over the place. Of course, I, I, I didn't really put that on that, that piece on camera, but I know people were people, people getting all kind of stuff. Even us, they said, I, I go upstairs for me to get some stuff, solar lights and devices for me to come down, for me to give to a number of persons across Dominica, just in case, you know, certain situations happen, people could charge their phone if it doesn't have electricity or whatever, you know? And some of them actually have their stuff, some of them are still using them today. You check me? But when it comes to this situation where people are trying to have things for themselves and it's not for you, I mean, people need to... <laughs> I mean, we need to put people in the right positions, man. Especially if you understand the character of individuals. I understand she's the principal of the school, but you're not in charge of the shelter in itself. You're not in charge of the shelter. It's a government school. How then do you just come and try to take out the people they are assigned there for you to take control and then taking the things to bring at your own mag? Come on, man. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts on the whole situation, man? Um, let me know that in the comment box below. Leave your thoughts in the comment box below, guys. And of course... It's a sad situation right now, man. Based on what is... And you can see it in her, in her face. She's vexed. She's vexed about that whole situation right there. Really, guys? Really? I mean, that is the state that... that, that, that. <laughs> help trying to help people. And the people you're trying to help, they turn against their own people for them to help themselves in the process. <laughs> That's something else, eh? <sighs> Anyways, guys. What are your thoughts in this whole situation? Like I said before, leave that, of course, in the comment box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you understand it. And, of course, subscribe. And turn on our post notifications by clicking the bell. So you can get all the videos as they come from. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Remember guys, I'm doing a vlog soon after this one. So stay tuned.